Since the collection left those railway sheds and it shuffled off through so many different small exhibitions out to the church at Bondi, to North Head, um, and we thank you for all that support. Uh, but now, as you watch uh, the fate of the collection, you're still determined, though, to keep the core paintings together. You, you, you and Elaine could have sold this off decades ago and lived very comfortably. So in, what is your own belief that this must stay together? I think it should stay together because it, it, it tells a complete story from an Aboriginal perspective. And everybody's been telling, everybody but Aboriginal people have been telling Aboriginal stories. And, and uh, I think it's better, uh, we, uh, an Aboriginal knows how to tell the story uh, best, yeah. I think. And, uh, uh, and my, um, it's, uh, it's been a pretty difficult hard life, I guess, but uh, I wouldn't be dead for quits. <laughs> but, uh, it, it's, uh, I still love life and uh, I've got a great hope for the future. And, uh, uh, but I, at the moment, unless something happens very quickly with my art, uh, uh, they're going to take my home and, and uh, things like that, you know. And, uh, yeah. Without gold, it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. And, uh, I, I look at Sydney Harbour and I look at uh, some of those nice islands and I think I have great visions and dreams about we, we would have an old, uh, an old cultural place where we could practice all the arts. Uh, we could have acting and painting and the whole lot, you know, but uh, I don't know. We, we, we went one day, we went to, uh, we looked at Goat Island, Lee Mill, the Eye of the Harbour and places like that. And, uh, it would be lovely because this is where the first fleet red coach came in here and I, 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 I go back all the time to those 11 ships coming through the heads and, uh, and I know I lost my land once and, and, uh, uh, and uh, I, went to, I went to prison I was sentenced to a life sentence and that was over my land and I, I felt very strongly about that and my uncles they went to war and they, they fought mm. bad guys and said if you don't go and fight they will come here. Uh, and, and that's why they went. And, uh, but anyway, I, I just hope that uh, something does happen. Uh, I've got some good friends, and uh, and uh, I can get the, the man from Snowy River to be whip up and <laughs> liven him up, and and then I can have the, uh, Michael Kirby keep a, an eye on, make sure justice takes place, and. <laughs> and, uh, and and Philip Ruddick with the 1L. Uh, I always say the 1L because the first Philip came in through the hedge, he was to two L's. <laughs> and uh, uh, I don't know if I forgot. Uh, but uh, I have a lot of good friends and, uh, and I go, I'm grateful to be alive and I just hope that something happens with my art now. And it needs to happen for me. It needs to happen for Aboriginal people of this great land. It really needs to happen.